Hi guys, Brand here and welcome to another commentary video. Today we're going to be talking about catastrophizing because it's a thing that's kind of like an unfortunate kind of symptom of life and people, especially on the internet, but it's something that I've noticed that the DVD community particularly has a very, very uh, bad problem with, uh, especially when it comes to new chapter releases where that comes perks, killers, etc. The DVD community really, really likes to catastrophize and uh, make everything out to be the absolute worst possible scenario it could possibly be. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So if you're not familiar with the idea of what catastrophizing is, catastrophizing, that's a hard word to say. <laughs> catastrophizing means when a person fixates on the worst possible outcome and treats it as likely, even though it's not. And the reason I bring this up, the reason that I bring this up is because this is something that I have to deal with almost every day that there is an update. Every day there is a PTB or an actual update to the game where any sort of game changes are coming to Dead by Daylight. Catastrophizing is something I have to deal with uh, for basically the entire stream because I usually I stream on those days where those updates come out. And I have to deal with people coming into my chat and catastrophizing the entire day. Like it, it could be a particular perk. It could be the whole update. But there are some people that are just like outright sold that everything that's coming in the update or some particular thing that's coming in the update is going to be the worst thing to ever hit the game and it's going to ruin things and it's been like that for it's been like that for as basically as long as i can remember is that every chapter or regardless of what's actually in the content of the chapter actually is it's always one of the worst updates to hit dbd or specifically there's a perk or character that's coming in that is going to ruin the state of the game and i always have to like it seems like I w there's always somebody that I have to like talk down from the ledge, so to speak, that comes into my chat and is like, oh, well, oh, good example for this one. Like, oh, Sonico's ruined. They nerfed Sonico into the ground and she's just never going to be playable again. Like, there's always that guy, right? There's always that person. You see them, whether that be on Twitter, whether that be in Twitch chats. There's somebody who's always convinced that every change to the game is aggressively negative and it's going to ruin the game or it's going to do irreparable damage to a character, to a perk, to something. And it's just like, I don't know. Like, I will always be the first person trying to approach that person with facts, kind of like, you know, try to take them at face value of like, oh, I can see why you're worried about this. I can see why you're scared about this. But in, in practice, in reality, is it actually going to be that bad? Here's some uh, facts that you can take home with you to kind of be like, hey, maybe this isn't as bad as you think it's going to be. And, and at least, you know, put their mind at ease a little bit. But I think the problem is like, I end up having to do this every single update every single time behavior changes anything i'm out here having to do this for people whether it be on the youtube whether it be on the twitch whether it be on twitter there's always people out here just absolutely thinking that the, 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 the sky is falling the world's coming down on their head and after a while i get pretty exhausted from having to be the you know rational person in the room like i don't mind doing that sometimes i don't even I didn't say most of the time but when it's every single update every single patch that behavior ever makes somebody's out here like ah, that perk's gonna ruin the game that that perk right there i'm not it's gonna ruin everything and then we're out here playing like a month or two later and the game is fine and it always is <laughs> it always is like unless they literally dropped like old dead hard right in the middle of like current modern day dbd we're not going to end that situation ever again. And like, I feel like, you know, for as much as behavior messes up and continues to uh, mess up a lot, I don't think they're in a state uh, mentally, <laughs> as a, especially as a team where they would drop something that crazy into the game ever again. I think they've done a lot of work to try and balance their game, uh, regardless of how you feel about like, should the game even be balanced at all and that sort of thing. Um, they have done a lot of effort or taken a lot of effort to actually, you know, balance their game. So I don't think they would ever drop something that crazy into the game ever again. So outside of some weird like event where they drop like old dead heart into the game. No, this new perk is not going to ruin the game. No, this new killer is not going to ruin the game. And I feel like I shouldn't even have to like say that, you know, I feel like a rational person who's actually looking at what's going like what's going on in the game right now knows that they know behavior is trying to be a little bit tighter about game design and game balance recently and if they're going to introduce anything that's even slightly good it's going to come with like some sort of drawback or something goofy that's a part of it that makes it non-synergized or something else like they're very much against the old days of just plopping something super op into the game and just calling it a day right like we, like we all know that and everybody can see that but like i just don't get i, I think i sort of get it this is going to be a, a kind of a side tangent. I sort of get it. It's because there are content creators out here that don't feel confident in their content. So they're out here catastrophizing. Like I see the videos, every single patch, every single patch. I see the videos. Like usually when I look at a patch, right? 
Like, usually I'm kind of like, if we're looking at 10 out of 10 being like, this is the be the most amazing best thing ever, and I'm almost like kissing behavior's butt, I like this uh, patch so much. Or like one being like the super negative guy where behavior can do no right. I'm usually like somewhere between like, like four and seven, right? I'm usually between four and seven. If they do a really good job, I'll be like, hey, they mostly did a good job, but here's some things I'm concerned about. Usually I can find one or two things that I'm like, eh. I'd be cool with that. Like, I was talking with uh, my friend Ace, the uh, the Wesker main that posts Wesker content. Very, very good content creator, especially if you like Wesker. Uh, and we were talking about how, you know, I'd be pretty cool if they uh, make Sadako's uh, teleport cooldown uh, at least half. At least half. I'd be cool with that. While I'm mostly okay with the Sadako changes, I'm like, yeah, you probably lower her. You probably lower her teleport cooldown. That'd be fine. You know, like, I can find, I can find some things that I'm not the biggest fan of, right? So even when we have, uh, like, a mostly good chapter, like I believe the, the recent PTB is that's coming, I can still find things that I'm like, they could probably do that better. And that's just being realistic. That's just like, that's just, you know, seeing things for how they are. Whether you be somebody who aggressively hates behavior or aggressively loves behavior, like somewhere in the middle, well, like like with real life, mostly in the middle is where the truth lies. Not, not aggressively biased one way or the other, but kind of just seeing things for the way they are. But like content creators, they just kind of like go out and just like, Either, you know, obviously they these people may be fog whispers themselves, or they just want to be fog whispers, or they're just like very, very behavior biased. They want to come out and say, like, oh, well, the chapter's flawless, and I don't see how anybody could ever hate this, and blah, blah, blah. Or you're on the flip end where you're like, yo, know, behavior can do no right. I do not understand how they even thought this was an okay thing, and then you're just like yelling, right? Because that gets people's attention. Right? These are these are essentially hot takes. And hot takes get views, so they're just making hot takes to get views and over-exaggerating. And when you do that to an impressionable audience, like a lot of the DVD community is, uh, for better or worse, a lot of people are just gonna soak that in. A lot of people can't even, like, especially with, like, PTBs and stuff, a lot of people can't even, like, play the PTB. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people play on console and don't have access to the, to, to the beta. So they kind of just have to take content creators word for it. Um, and if a content creator, you know, you know, wants to just absolutely dunk all over the PTB, even if it doesn't necessarily deserve it, uh, there's a massive group, a massive part of the player base that kind of just has to just go, hmm, maybe that's how it is, right? Without taking hours and hours and hours of watching Twitch streams of people streaming the PTB to make an opinion on their own, which even then I, I would argue that's fairly different than playing it yourself. Like there's a like they they essentially control the narrative to to a, a strong extent, um, so that's I feel like people are just very very reckless, very very reckless. They don't understand the damage they're causing when they catastrophize like this because that's that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing and feeling on the back end is always having people come into my chats just like ah, the world is ending I can't believe they changed this and I'm just I'm just tired of dealing with it. I'm just tired of like the intense like I'm not like you're okay to be like concerned about certain changes and stuff in the game but I'm tired of like the emotional intensity of it being the end of the world you know what I'm saying like I'm tired of it just being like this big terrifying like oh no the world the sky is falling I'm tired of that energy I'm tired of energy, and I really wish the DVD community would just, like, abandon that, that mentality. Because this whole everything's ending, everything's so bad all the time thing, like, it's it's a bad mental place to be in. So, much less you coming into my chat, coming into my zone, my YouTube, my Twitch, and be like, Hey, everything's dying, and I'm like, no, please be quiet, it's not that bad. Like, I, I, I should not always have to be your voice or reason. I don't know, it just gets stressful, and I just get tired of, of hearing it, how everybody overreacts to changes, every single change that ever happens, and I wish the DVD community would just calm down. So, that's it. There wasn't really a point to this, besides just going, I feel like the DVD community needs to chillax a little bit. Um, other than that, that's it for today's video, friends. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, do you think that the DVD community uh, catastrophizes a little too much? Let me know down in the comments below. But on that, thank you so much for watching today, but I do upload daily, so I will see you tomorrow. But if I do not, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.